My name is Dr. Bradshaw and this film is intended for my RAD 2612 students. Uh, today we are studying congenital anomalies and this one is on spina bifida culta. Spina bifida culta is a small opening due to the failure of fusion of the lamina. Clinically this is insignificant and what clinically insignificant means is that it does not alter how you take care of the patient and usually the patient is not aware or have any symptoms pertaining to the spina bifida culta. Looking at the first film, you have of course a small opening between the two sides of the lamina right here coming down and so that is and also at this level there's another one right there and so you have spina bifida occulta on this film. The next one, the spina bifida occulta is right there. The next film, we have multiple levels of spina bifida occulta. Here is one here is one, and I believe that there's another one right here, but it's a little bit more difficult to see. On the next film, when you have two films like this, especially if you're sitting on a state board exam or some type of test like that, I just want to recommend to you that if they put these two films up, the fact that they have a lateral view and an open mouth view should probably direct you to start thinking about something going on in the upper cervical area. When you look at the upper cervical area, you see that there's a missing spinal laminar junction line on C2, and on the open mouth view, there is the gap between the two sides of the lamina. So again, this one would be called spina bifida occulta. On this film, this is a close-up on an open mouth view of a spina bifida occulta, and the white arrow is pointing to the small, uh, small non-union, and on the next film, this is presentation in the lumbar area where you have the two sides coming close together but there is a gap right here between the two sides and so that is spina bifida culta as well. This concludes the tape. This concludes the tape on spina bifida culta.